What's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Yes, you read the title correctly. This is an RTX 2080 connected to the Latte Panda Alpha. More specifically, an EVGA RTX 2080 XC Ultra. Now I do want to give EVGA a big shout out for sending this over for review. I actually requested it when they were released and they finally got around to me. Super happy to get one in my possession. I will be doing a full review on this in my main rig. But while I got it, we might as well hook it up to this small single board computer and see what we can do with it. If you're a regular viewer of the channel, you might remember a few videos I did with the Latte Panda and external GPUs. I've done a 1030, a 1050 Ti, and a 6 gigabyte 1060. Basically, we bottlenecked that 1060 because this is such a low-end CPU, at least at 1080p gaming. I had a lot of requests to do this, and I know a lot of people were joking about it. This wasn't purchased or gotten for review just to put on the Latte Panda, but since I have everything in my possession, I might as well do it. So if you're not familiar with the Latte Panda, this is a small x86 single board computer. The CPU is the Intel Core M37Y30 at 1.1 GHz, but it will turbo up to 2.6. This is a dual core CPU with four threads. As for RAM, this is soldered to the board. It is non-user upgradable. 8 GB LPDDR3 1866 MHz configured in dual channel. And the GPU is the built-in Intel UHD 600 graphics. It has three USB 3.0 ports. Bunch of I.O. on here. We have some GPIO. It has an Arduino built-in. There's a lot of stuff that you can do with this board. And it wasn't specifically designed for gaming. But since I have a 2080 connected, I want to see how well this thing performs with 4K gaming. Now, I know for a fact that GTA 5 will not hit past 60 FPS in 4K. It won't even do it at 720p with the 2080. And that's because this CPU just isn't that powerful and we only max out at 2.6 gigahertz. I'm definitely going to need some external power for this GPU, so I'll be using the EVGA 750G3. This is a fully modular power supply, one of my favorites. The way I have this set up is a little funky. I have the 2080 in a PCIe X16 riser card. This is a little holder I bought on Amazon. In turn, this is plumbed into the Latte Panda Alpha but it's connected to an M.2 to PCIe X4 slot, so the whole card's only going to be running in PCIe X4 mode instead of 16. But we should be able to get some stuff done with this thing. The 2080 is a very powerful card, and I can't wait to throw this in my main machine to see what it can do. But for now, I want to see what it'll do on the Latte Panda Alpha. I'm running Windows Pro here. I've got a lot of stuff installed. I'm only going to test a few games here, and if we can handle some of the games that I like to play, I think this was a successful test. This whole video is being recorded in 4K. As you can see, I have very small desktop icons here. I don't have any scaling going on in Windows 10. I just wanted you to see that I was at a true 4K 60 Hertz. I usually show off some benchmarks, but benchmarks are benchmarks. I want to get into some real world gaming here. First up, I'm going to be running Doom. I am using the Vulcan back in. As you can see, we're at 4K. And my preset is set to Ultra. I do have resolution scale set to 100%. I do have Afterburner running in the top left hand corner. It's going to give us our GPU usage, our GPU temperature, CPU usage, CPU temp, and the wattage of the CPU. As you can see, we're only at 7 watts here. We also have the current FPS and the average FPS. Next up, I wanted to test out Overwatch. I'm at 4K high settings, 100% resolution scale. 
And FPS limit is set to custom, so we can get over 60 if it's going to do it. Now, when I go to Ultra, we get about 55 average. So I went down to high just to see if we could at least get 60 FPS 4K. And sure enough, it does a pretty good job. Here's Dirt 3, 4K, Ultra Preset. Just roll through here a little bit. I haven't changed any of these settings. I'm just using that Ultra Preset. We're getting an average frame rate of 99 FPS. Now, I know this is an older game, but if you're into Rally, this is still a really fun game. And finally, GTA 5. Like I mentioned, we couldn't even get 60 FPS, 1080p low settings, or 720p. I also tested it here with the 2080. It's that CPU. We just don't have a high enough clock speed to do this. But I think we could manage at least 30 FPS, 4K. Got everything set to very high and high. It's just kind of the preset it came with. I need to reset my average marker here. There we go. And we're going to see what it does. So GTA 5 with a 7 watt CPU running in 4K, very high settings. It performs much better than I thought it would, but when there's explosions on screen, I have seen it dip down to about 24 FPS. But we are at very high settings, and if we drop that down a bit, there's a chance we could get a constant 30 out of 4K gaming on this. Now, I don't think anybody's going to buy a 2080 specifically for the Latte Panda Alpha, but it's nice to know it works. So I was really surprised that this setup was able to do anything in 4K over 30 FPS. Now I was sure that some of these games were going to run decently, but I didn't think that like Dirt 3 was going to run at 100 FPS. I know it's an older game, but I still have a lot of fun playing it. All the games I tested in this video have been very well optimized over the years, and that's the reason I chose each one. The CPU in the Latte Panda is a very low-end CPU for gaming, and it's just not going to handle something like The Witcher 3 at 4K. The main reason I did this was basically because I can. I had all the parts laying around. I'm not saying go out and buy a Latte Panda and slap a 2080 on it. It makes no sense at all, and I completely understand that. This was kind of a proof of concept, and because we can. 
If you're interested in learning more about the Latte Panda Alpha, I'm going to leave a link in the description to a playlist I created. I've made a ton of videos on this, some with external GPUs, some without. There's a lot of content to comb over if you want to. And if you want to see anything else running on the Latte Panda, be it with an external GPU or without, just let me know in the comments below. I can get something made up. I'd also really appreciate it if you could hit that like button, maybe subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date. And like always, thanks for watching.